Hello, it's Chris here. I'm back with another C++ and with Lua tutorial. And uh, this is just something I wanted to cover. Um, and that's how to protect your script files from others so they can't edit it. And to uh, compile the code into a, a binary format so it uh, reads in faster. And it's, um, you know, if you look at any, if you look at any, or well, not any, but many model, model files, or any image file, you will see that the code is really, you know, it looks really strange. And that's because it's in binary format. So, and that goes, it it goes a lot faster reading in binary than simple raw ASCII characters. So let's just do a simple script printing out hello world and let's run that code and it does not work because I don't I specified the wrong name. So hello world, yes. That's exactly what we wanted to do. I have the I have just some simple the simple uh, default uh, code that we used in the first or second tutorial. So anyway, what do we need to be able to compile this into compile this script file into a binary format? We need something called the Lua C dot exe. So I'm gonna delete that from my project folder, and I'm gonna go through how to get it. So, g where you install Lua, go to that folder, the folder where you installed Lua, mine is in uh, C program 86 Lua 5.1, that's the version, and here's Lua C.exe. So, simply copy and paste in your project folder, C++, in C++ project folder. Um, you want it to be here in, in the folder where you're working on in because that makes it more accessible. I, I like to have it in the folder where I'm working with so uh, so I can easily compile the files and have them where I want them to be. So for example when we compile file the script.out file will be created in this folder and not in the Lua folder. Anyway, let's remove that as well. So, if you're on the Windows, you can use something called a bat file to uh, run this exe with commands or with arguments. So we call uh, we create a compile.bat file, and uh, what I mean is, in order to use this exe, if you run it, nothing happens; it just disappears. So, in order to actually run, we would be able need to open up CMD, and uh, to make it user friendly, I always like to create a compile well a bat file, and have you know and uh, have that have the bat file do all the work for me. So we call Lua C but exe. This simply runs the executable with these arguments. Uh, um, I don't know what that's called, but O dash O or something. So this means output. I could increase the size of the text so you can see it a bit better. Uh, I, I noticed that my older, well, my other videos are a bit low quality, so I'm trying out Cam Studio this time. Anyway, Lua C out and dash O, I think it's a dash. Anyway, that means the output file, li the name of the output file. If you don't specify this, the Lua C will uh, will compile, uh, create a new file called Lua C, Lua C dot out. All right, but we want to specify our own, so we'll call it script dot Lua C. Or script dot out or script dot anything, but I'm gonna call it Lua C. 
and then simply the script, the Lua file, the source file to use. So this is script.lua, this file. So I'm going to save this, run it, and it should create a script.lua scene. If we open this up, you see it's a you know, really strange looking code. You can understand this script.lua here and hello world over there, but everything else is just really weird. Anyway, so that's the uh, code in binary. That's how it looks in binary. And now we are gonna oh, uh, run it as normal. So it's, you know, Lua do file script dot Lua C, the name of the file we created. Run it and it runs. It does ex the exact same thing. Okay. And if you're not on Windows, um. I'm not sure if this actually works, um, but I could, you know, I could think that it would if you used system command with luasi.exe and the same, um, just to say, you know, just do it uh, in the same way we did with the in the bat file. So dash o and the output file and then the input file. I, I'm not sure if it works on other systems, but on Windows it does. I can show you that. So delete the script of Lua C. And you know we don't have it, and we are trying to call it. So we we'll see what happens. It runs because before we called it, we did this. We compiled it from C within C++. And as you can see, it's created again. So this works on Windows. I'm not sure if it works on Mac or Linux or any other system but anyway I this was just a quick video and I hope you have learned something of value so I see you later